Hey guys, Engineer Pat5290 coming to you with the March Q&A response video. I have got to say, this is actually a really good Q&A series. Um, thank you guys for viewing this video. As you see over 200 views and 9 likes on the video. I just would like to say thank you guys for participating and watching the video. And we're going to look at some exciting questions. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. There was a lot of you that have asked... Um, questions here. We're going to start with Take Username who asked a lot of questions. Thanks for coming around, man. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's good to see you again. Do you like riding on charter buses? Charter buses are actually pretty cool to ride. I haven't ridden one in about five years, but let me tell you something. Those are really nice to ride. Favorite Pixar film? I like the movie Cars. Uh, when it came out, I believe it was in 2006. And I also like Monsters, Monsters Inc. Pixar or DreamWorks, they're about the same to me. I like them just because they produce a lot of good movies. How, how have y'all been all with the coronavirus quarantine lately? This is an interesting question, but I've got to say that I've got to put a, a hold on that question. Um, right now, I'm not going to give you all of the details on that. Let me just kind of hold that for a second. Um, we're just practicing social guidelines right now, is all I know. Uh, that's the only thing that we're doing. So we're just going. To, I'm going to leave it at that. So uh, I apologize for not giving you a better answer on this, but uh, I'm just kind of careful what I say on that one. Uh, the next question uh, is a really good one. I'm really glad that you asked this. Take username. Do you prefer face-to-face -face conversation, calling, texting, or video chats? Face-to-face -face conversation, and it applies to my job in sales. Um, I love talking to people face to face uh, because if there was a problem with something, I can fix it right then. Phone calling is easy when you're when you're just somewhere else and you're unable to get somewhere. You can fix things sometimes over the phone. But if it's a really big problem, for me, it's better to see somebody in person. So that's a really good question there. What's your dream train to catch? Like a train that you know you'd never see it would overjoy to see some, is something to show up one day. Somebody asked this when I did my presentation at my college on how railroads impact logistics both domestically and globally. I'm glad this question was asked. Um, I have seen, I, and I said to the person that actually asked that question that I have seen a lot of trains in my 20 years of rail fan. I have seen a lot of trains. Um, I'm just very fortunate to get as many trains as I can and just enjoy them. Uh, I was very glad to get the 611. Uh, been wanting to get that for a long time and still working on the heritage units, of course. But one of the next things I would really love to see is the NNW 1218 running again. So that's one of the dream catches I really want to get is NNW 1218. Have you ever had Raymond or Japanese soda? No. If you were stuck on a deserted island with infinite supply of food and water, but could not take anything back with you to land, what would you take? Well, if I was on an island, I would just take in the memories that I have and take pictures in my mind of where I was and enjoying the beautiful sounds of nature. What's your favorite shirt? Hmm. I do like t-shirts. I gotta say, I love t-shirts because um, a lot of cool cool logos like um, you know. You know, railroad t-shirts and all that. I love just wearing t-shirts and hats. Uh, do you have any, any souvenir pennies? Hmm. Man, I've probably got them somewhere. I just got to find them. Motorbikes or regular bikes? I like both. And do I own a bicycle? Of course I do. I love riding my bicycles. Um, I do like riding bicycles, especially when it's warm outside. Can you skateboard? Even though I had a skateboard as a kid, I cannot skateboard. Um, if you could single-handedly bring at one fall in front what, what what would you retrieve and why? My absolute favorite, the Southern. Just because the Southern was the better half of the merger, had the best high hood equipment, the best staff, the best reputation on the East Coast. The second one, the ATSF. They were the two best railroads that had, they were the two railroads that had the best, I mean the best reputation out there. So that was a really good question. Long Island Railroad, Metro Railroad, North, or New Jersey Transit. I go with uh, Standard Gauge Railroad or New Jersey Transit, and I also like the Long Island Railroad. Metro North is okay. Do you own any knives? Uh, I prefer 
well, I will say this. I mean, I may have a knife or two, but I uh, don't like to talk about that. Now, what do you think the future of North America where it looks like? Well, that's kind of into the future some. Maybe they can keep modifying the diesel locomotive and just making it extremely more efficient, and like they did with the Tier 4 locomotive. Um, because they're just as reliable as a lot of the older locomotives, but not but emitting less um, particle matter, which is like air pollution and all of that. If you were to eliminate one mode of shipping from existence, what would you choose? I don't know. I, I just don't know because all of these are so vital in the economy itself that you need them. You can't eliminate them. You have to. You're going to need trains to move freight long distances. You're going to also need um, ships to move freight from coast to coast. Same with airplane. You're going to need trucks to move the freight and goods locally. Um, so I would not eliminate anything. I would keep supply chain the way it is. Queen or Led Zeppelin? I do like both of them. I mostly like any music that is old, especially like, uh, 50s through the 80s, but a lot of 70s and 80s rock. Favorite city in Virginia? <laughs> well, not only my favorite home city of Suffolk, but I do like a lot of other cities. Uh, Richmond being one of them. Petersburg. Roanoke is another one because it's the NAW. Uh, I'm just trying to think now. There, are, I just want to name a few of them. But Virginia has a lot of nice cities. So, take username had a long list of questions. Thank you so much for asking. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, CSAO Kid Productions comes in. One of Standard Gauge Railroad subscribers. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you coming. Next HS Locomotive Purchase. I'm going to leave that a surprise. Favorite Alco locomotive, I like the um, the Alco PAs and the RS3s. Favorite Illinois Central paint scheme, I like the Dream Sickle and the Black, especially on the SD70s. SD9043 SD Mac or the SD50, they were kind of up and downs for EMD. Uh, they were both interesting locomotives, but I, I sort of like both. Favorite CSX Heritage Railroad? I will tell you this now, I love the Seaboard Airline. Seaboard Coastline as well, but Seaboard Airline was better half of the merger. Chessy System, my uncle worked for them back in the 70s, and they were a holdings company, the Baltimore, Ohio's parent company. Seaboard System was the SCL and the LNN. They were a parent company in the early 80s. They uh, Seaboard System, and then, of course, the SCL was a um, parent company. Uh, so they had come together, and then, of course, it later fell under CSX. So thank you, sir, for your questions. Steve Weeby Beebe comes back. Good to see you again. And glad to see a lot of you returning users. Are you going to chase the Reading Northern FUS this April? Not sure. How would you like to see UP4014 come to Memphis? It would just be nice if it came to the East Coast. But I don't know how UP is going to actually um, work the routes out. Uh, which of these Amtrak trains is your favorite? Out of the four he's got, I love the Silver Star because that goes on, that's on the A-line. I like the Carolina and the Crescent because they were both Southern trains. The Palmetto is okay. I believe that was a Seaboard Airline train, I think. I'll have to check on that one, but I will do some research on that. Any plans to go back to TVRM under one circumstance? Whatever they get Southern 3170 back up and running. That's the only reason I will go back because I want to hear that engine run again. So, uh, thank you, sir, for your questions. Lima Rail Fan Productions comes back with some questions. Good to see you. And you can see here, um, I had to get a confirmation for him. I want to thank him for that. Favorite fallen flag on NS, it has to be the Southern. Also, the ATSF and Conrail on the CSX side, Seaboard Airline. Do you have a favorite locomotive? Anything that's EMD, with anything older EMD except the SD70 ACE Tier 4. Um, favorite train horn? Well, for Nathan, it's the K5LA, the P5P3, and the K5LLA. For Leslie, it's the RS3L, RS5T, and the S3L. If there's any place on the NS system you, you want to go, where would it be 
and what it would like to be there. Hmm. Okay, well, I would like to go in other places of the NS, like especially go back to Horseshoe Curve in Altoona. That's a really good spot to get trains. Um, I would not mind going back up there, and maybe even somewhere maybe in the Midwest. I haven't decided. So, thank you, sir, for your questions. Steve Casey at KC Railfan comes back with a lot of the long list of questions. Chips with guacamole or salsa? Has to be salsa. Thoughts on Southern Railway's GE High Hoods? They were decent locomotives, but to me, EMD nailed the um, white, uh, the high hood cab. Thoughts on the NW Steam Turbine locomotive, the John Henry? I actually have never heard of that. I will be doing some research on that. Um, besides HSK, what model traces do you like? O is okay, but to me it's too big. HO scale, you could do a lot with. How would you like VSM had a Conrail caboose? Well, cabooses are cabooses, but to me it looks better with an N&W caboose because it's, a, because it's on N&W rails. KFC or Burger King? I go to KFC for their original recipe chicken or Burger King. I go in there for their breakfast and the occasional chicken fries. APL or Evergreen, and which company had the better paint scheme on their containers? I like APL because that's American President's line. That's been around for a good long time. Crispy chicken sandwiches or barbecue pulled pork sandwiches? Oh, ho, ho. man, I prefer both with some French fries and a Coca-Cola. The Redding or the Northern Pacific? I prefer the Redding. Have you ever toured the NS exhibit car? It has been a long time. Favorite model train online retailer or store? Well, I have obviously like Athern, and I also like um, train sets only. Uh, there are two really good sources that get you trains, and there's a little local choo-choo shop called the Little Choo-Choo Shop in North Carolina that I like to go to and visit to go get some trains. So definitely worth a visit down there in the North Carolina area to go to the Little Choo-Choo Shop. Uh, Dairy Queen or Peach Wave? I've never heard of Peach Wave, but I love DQ. I love DQ. I love their blizzards, and I hear their hot fudge Sundays are good. The SD60 or the 75M, I like both of them. The SD75M looked really nice in the war bonnet paint scheme, but for the SD60, it looked good in NS paint and Conrail paint the best. Amtrak's Capital Limited or the Silver Meteor, well, they're both Amtrak trains, but I personally prefer the Capital Limited. Tri-Rail or the Brightline, I've never really rail fan both of them, but... They're both pretty cool. Have you heard a train crew that threw out a gift to you from the cab while rail fanning? That has never happened. I'm sure some other rail fans have experienced that, but I have not. And Montana Railing or Providence of Warshire, Montana Railing because they still have SD45s. And daytime or nighttime rail fanning? Well, I like both. Daytime because you get out in the sunshine, get the sunrise and the sunsets. Nighttime is great because you get a lot of the um, sunset shots, which is actually pretty cool. Anyway, just something different for a change. Um, so, um, thank you, sir, for your long list of questions. I greatly appreciate this. Dave Valentine comes in, a new a new user. Thanks for coming in. Have you heard anything on NS testing the clean natural gas locomotives? No. That was old news, and... Um, I never really heard anything else about that, so I do apologize for lack of information. Uh, next one is Amtrak 2115 coming back. If you were able to drive any heritage unit, what would it be? Um, any heritage unit on NS. Favorite paint scheme on the C6M? All of them. Fastest train you've ever recorded? Oh, I don't even know. I've taken so many videos of trains. The ACE or the M2? ACE was the better version. Alco C420 or the U25B? U25B. Favorite spot to rail fan? My own home city of Suffolk. Favorite DC Metro line? I love the DC Metro line in general. It's a really cool system to ride. Favorite Metrolink line? I have never rail fan Metrolink. Um, I just know they're a commuter road that served California. So, um, I really don't know Metrolink that well, but... I do like join C in their F59 PHs. So um, we will go ahead and stop it here for just a moment. We'll conclude it with the last two viewers in just a moment. All right, part two is underway.